Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Phoebe and I'm hoping to make regular videos here on my new YouTube channel. Um, so I've headed over to my Instagram and I've asked for some questions of you guys just to see what sort of things you wanted to know about me for my first video here. So it's kind of just a little chatty, sit down, get to know me sort of video. So like I said, I've gone over and asked some questions on my Instagram. So if you don't already follow my Instagram, please make sure to go follow. It'll be on the screen now. Words, why did I want to start a YouTube channel? So basically, um, I'd already had a blog and it, I do still have it, but I just haven't posted in God knows how long. Um, I don't know, I just, there was something about it. It didn't feel as personal as what a YouTube channel would. So I've obviously grew up watching YouTube for however long it's been around and however long I've had YouTube and watched it. Um, I've looked at everyone like the likes of Zoella and Gru and Saffron Barker and the way that they've grown up. And I just think that I've always aspired to be like that. And especially how my blog started, I had the passion for it initially. So I just feel like with YouTube, it's a bit of a step forward and it's a bit of a different thing. It can be more personal because I feel like with a blog, you don't really know how someone's coming across on writing and then your words whereas on youtube you can see your expressions you can see how passionate someone can be um, and you can see how i generally feel about something even that's a product or my opinion or something like that i feel like that kind of can get put across more in this sort of format so that's kind of the main reason i wanted to do a youtube channel and obviously the influences i've had from it and that sort of thing so like the likes of zoe and saffron and so forth so yeah, my blog, I do still have it. It was called Lip Gloss and Lemon Drops and that was the sort of thing where I discussed makeup products that I bought and I would review them and what I thought about them. And then when it was all like the Kylie Jenner lip trend hype, um, I did a lot of reviews and tried to find products that would match her um, lip products. This is before Kylie Cosmetics came out. So that was me having my own opinion and finding products that I believed were similar to Kylie's products that she would wear on her lips and I would do reviews like that and so forth. I also touched right, a bit so on fashion question hand. is, what is your age? That's how old are you? And I've had a lot of these sort of questions and to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be a question that I'd get asked as I feel like I look my age, but a lot of people do think I look older than I am. Um, but I am actually 17 years old. Um, I turned 17 on the 25th of February. So I haven't really been 17 that long, so half a year sort of thing. So I'm kind of coming up to turning 18 in six months or so. So yeah, I'm only 17 years old. A lot of people do think I'm older than that. I'm not sure why. I probably, it's just because the makeup I wear and the clothes I wear, people just do kind of assume that I am normally older, but no, I'm 17. So into the next question is another question that I thought I would not get asked because in my opinion, I feel like they're not as good as what people are making out to be. And that's how do I take my Insta pics? So my Insta pictures, I take them all myself unless I get my mum and my boyfriend to take them for me. If that's like the big standing pictures and stuff like that. But in regards to the selfies, I will literally have this setup that I've got right now and I'll take my selfies on my front normal camera. I have an iPhone 8 Plus, so the camera's pretty basic, pretty decent, I suppose, for an iPhone camera. So yeah, that's how I take my selfies, just on my iPhone. Um, so I'll literally stand it up like I've done now with this video, um, if it was to be my phone. And then I had me have a timer, depending on what the lighting's like, I need a flash or not. And then obviously with that, with the iPhone camera, it flips, so the front camera will flip. So I have an app called, I think it's called Quick Flip, I believe. Yeah, Quick Flip. And with that, I can just flip my photos around. So then the iPhone camera doesn't flip it, so you can flip it back to how you think you look like kind of thing. So how you see yourself rather than the flipped version of the photo. It does with the front camera. Um, I don't tend to use a lot of filters and I don't edit my photos. I literally will just put my sharpness on and that's kind of that. But to be honest, I don't really go, I don't really want to go too in depth with that. Um, as I do kind of want to do a video of how to edit my Insta pictures when my channel grows a bit more. And if that's something you guys would want to see. But once again, I didn't think that my Insta pictures are that good and I still don't think they're that good. But um, I'll take the compliment <laughs> if you want to know how I do my Insta pictures, but it's really not that hard. I literally just do it myself, a bit of sharpness and brightness and that's literally it. I don't like filters. I think it ruins the quality of the photo a bit. So I just like to keep right, it quite so basic. Now quite a really? tricky question. So I've been asked, what's my fashion inspo brand slash celebrity? Thanks. Right, so. Fashion inspo, I don't honestly really have much. Um, I'm quite independent in that fact that I make my mind, own mind up about some things. If I see clothes, 
whether that's be online or in shops, I kind of can see that. And in my own head, I'm quite lucky. Um, I can kind of create a little image of what sort of outfit I think I can see myself in with that item of clothing, if that kind of makes sense. So for instance, I can walk into a high street shop, top shop, New Look, River Island, so forth really. Um, if I see an item of clothing, I think, oh, that looks really good with blah, 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 blah. And I'll then just style that on myself and see if that actually looks good on me. And that's kind of what my inspo is. It is just going around to shops and looking online and looking at pieces of clothing. Um, in regards to fashion inspo, I don't really have any. It's just my personal preference and what I feel and what, depends on what the day is. Like at the moment, I'm really against like jeans and tight clothing. One, it's just like when you have, like all girls have it, you go for them fat days and you just feel like nothing looks good on you. So I feel like in that moment, jeans is a write-off for me. <laughs> I have loads and I love them, but I just feel like I can only wear them on certain days, which is a stupid thing to think, but hey, hey, it's a girl's thing. So at the moment, I'm really literally just into tights with dresses and joggers and leggings and we're into fitness and gym a lot at the moment. I am just literally in gym clothes half the time. <laughs> So yeah, that's literally it when it comes to fashion inspo. In regards to celebrities, um, it's just all on Instagram really. So obviously the likes of people like Molly Mae, just come out of the Love Island villa, um, her Instagram and I love her style. So I suppose that sort of thing, like it is quite trend, but it's also your own personal touch on it as well. So I suppose Molly Mae is quite a big person for me at the moment and others like her. So overall that's kind of the vibe that I've got when it comes to my fashion. Next question. Let's find a good one. I've asked for juicy questions, but I think this is more of a chatty get to know rather than juicy sort of things. So, what fake tan do you use and what is your tanning routine? Right, hmm, good question. So at the moment, um, I'm using the Bondi Sands tanning foam in the shade Dark. Um, and I have been using that for about two or three months now or so and along with that I'll use the Bondi Sands like velvety mitt um, that you get from Bondi Sands. I think it's about five pounds or something like that um, But I can honestly say that tan is well. It's what I've got on now. I do it like every week or so It gives me a lovely golden sort of color However, the only thing I would say about it is I used to use Saint Tropez and Saint Moritz uh, two very kind of similar brands, one's just more of a dupe of it, um, so Saint Tropez is more of a pricey sort of version of St Moritz. Both of them tans are quite dark on your first layer, so therefore you only probably need one or two layers. Whereas with this Bondi Sands one, it gives a beautiful colour once you're done with it. However, the first time I used it, I only did one layer, as I was used to using the St Moritz one and St Tropez one. So I just used one layer at first of that Bondi Sands, and I woke up in the morning and I just wasn't dark at all. Um, I literally looked like nothing had happened. So um, I then like read a few reviews online and stuff like that and came on YouTube to see what other opinions were about tan. And people were saying that you did need a few more um, layers of the tan to build up the colour. So with that, um, I then went away the next night, did like three or four layers in uh, like sort of letting it dry in between. So I kind of do my first layer. I go normally I sleep with my tan on, so I do it before I go to bed. So I normally do my tan about ten ish. Um, so I'll go up to go up to my room, I'll tan for a 10, give it 10-20 minutes or so and I'll put another layer in the places I need it. So that's normally on my chest, as tan doesn't really cling to my chest that much. Um, it tends to just go. So I do my chest, my belly, my arms and my legs. Um, I don't really bother my back so much as it's not really out unless I'm going to an occasion, which is hardly ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's literally it. And then if I still don't think I'm that dark, and depending on how dark I want to be, I will then just leave it 10, 20 minutes or so and then apply more tan. So that's literally it. And in regards to how I get my tan off, I use a Lush scrub. I think it's called, I wanna say it's called the Angel Scrub or something to do with Angel. I can't think exactly what the name is, but it just comes in a little tub and I use that with an exfoliating mitt that's also from Bondi Sands. I'll do that in the shower two or three days before I want to tan. However, I've also had questions about how to not get my black dots on my tan and i did kind of want to save all this for a complete tanning routine video but seeing as a lot of people have asked me about how i don't get my tan to look black and that patchy little dots i'm just going to say now so basically i found out this little tip that if you shave before your tan you will get them dots so what i now do i will then tan moisturize and all that and then when i wake up in the morning i'll wash off my tan and as i'm washing off my tan that's when i will shave my legs now, 
I never used to do this because I used to think it would then take off the tan I'd done the night before. However, because the tan is still fresh, it's only scraping off that guide colour as you shave your legs. So it won't take off any of the tan and it, you avoid getting them little black dots on your legs. And you also sometimes get them in your arms, but I don't shave my arms, so I don't really have that problem. So if you didn't want them black dots on your legs, that's how you avoid it. It's just not shave. Um, just to not shave before you tan. You do it after, basically. So that's that. Right, maybe let's do one more question because I don't want to bore you all. So, what is your favourite makeup brand slash what do you use in your day-to-day -day makeup? Right, another question. I do want to do a complete video on this um, as a lot of people ask me whether that's in my life, like friends, family or people that just comment on my Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I would say... To be honest, my all-time favourite makeup brand is MAC. And I feel like, as much as it's overrated, it's kind of underrated at the same time. With MAC, I feel like there was a whole hype of it a few years ago. And then everyone was like, oh, it's basic, it's blah, 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 it's that. But honestly, I can't fault it. Like, I think most of the things on my face right now are probably from MAC. And it stays all day. I have oily skin. So I quite struggle to uh, find foundation and concealers and powders that will hold my makeup all day as I do like to wear makeup all day most days but to be honest well I don't wear makeup that often anymore to be honest just due to the like, gym and stuff like that um but most times when I do wear a foundation it will be a MAC foundation and I can tell you now that at the moment I have got the MAC Studio Fix Fluid on in NC16. NC16 matches perfectly with my tan and I can also make it work when I'm not tanned um, just by adding a bit more concealer because to be honest it's not really that dark I just need to add a bit more bronzer when I'm tanned and a bit more concealer when I'm not so I'd say yeah my all-time favorite makeup brand is MAC and that's a kind of an all-rounder because for lipsticks again my lip gloss and lip liner MAC <laughs> um, you just can't really fault it it's just for the long longevity it's the best I feel um, I don't really use drugstore brands that often just because I do feel like they don't last so what's the point in wasting your money on something it's a little bit cheaper but that won't last i'd rather buy a 20 pound foundation than a 10 pound foundation that won't look as good and um, that's just how i think though so obviously i'm fortunate enough to be able to have mac foundations and have nicer makeup brands rather than drugstore but that's just because i'm fortunate enough to have that um obviously at the end of the day it's whatever works for you um i've just had to happily found what's worked for me and I kind of stick with it because I kind of like to just stick with things once I find that I like them. So that's kind of that. And in regards to how do I do my makeup, I don't really want to go into too much about it. As I do want to do kind of a get ready with me kind of thing so you can actually see how I do my makeup. So that's all the little questions that I have received uh, without boring you too much. Thank you for watching my new video and my first video. It hasn't been a bit daunting but... I finally got around to doing it and I'm really happy that I have. So I'm just really hoping that my channel can progress the way I want it to. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't followed my Instagram, please make sure to go follow it. It will be linked below or on the screen. Um, so please go follow that as I will be asking more video ideas and questions in the future so you can be a part of that um, process. So thank you for watching and I hope that you come back for my next video.